So in the meantime, we'll do Dr. Zed's arms dealing quest. So I'm going to have to move the car a bit so we're ready to get going. Because as with the first one we did, these quests are really, really tight. So I'm going to have to start this off. And then we're going to have to haul our ass. So 3, 2, 1. Open that up. Grab it. And here we go. That arm's looking good. He must have worked out. So, arm ceiling is pretty literal. So this quest is extremely tight. So I'm gonna have to check the map every single, every few seconds to see if I'm going in the right direction. I think I need to go to the right one first, which I think is up here. So I think it's supposed to be in the water or underneath here. Yeah, the, the mailbox is already shining there. So I'm just gonna have to take the ladder up here, grab this. And grab another that arm. Belongs to a seamstress or something. <clears throat> to tell from the metatarsis. There we go. Golden the driver's seat again. And then we'll head towards the... The other three are closer together. But I wanted to take this one first. He's, he's a bit out of the way. So the other one is down here at the Mercury Induction Station. So let's just quickly go in here. I don't think they'll... Oh, they spawned. They spawned all right. It's going to explode. Just keep hustling. I'm just going to ignore these guys. Aside from that one. I, cho I shot that one. I think that, think that was obvious, but... Continuing on. So, the last two... Ah, oh, crap. I think I made a mistake. I need to go over here. Up here. My boys found out in chapter four. Everything's fine. Henry and her stalker friends... <gasps> Your eyes deceive you. An illusion fools you all. Made. I move for the kill. I've had not much time left before those go bad. Huh. Hurry! So I'm just gonna drop that here. Because I think I can actually make it on foot. I have about a minute left. Should be able to do this on foot. If I don't get stuck on the geometry, but there we go. We're at the last one. It's on the other side of this shack. Oh, it's up there. How the hell am I going to get up there? Get on top. Get on top. That's an annoying one. There we go. That's the final one. Just put those babies in my P.O. box and we'll see if that arms dealer lives Oh, God. Are you shitting me? Um, how do I get out of here? I got 40 minutes to get back to the P.O. box. I'm not going to make that because that's on the other side of the... Crap. Spoiled by now. And there we go, we failed the mission and I drove my car into the water, so yeah, I'm gonna have to do that again. Give me a second. Chapter Henry ate my hands. She chewed them off in front of me. I swear to Jack. That spiky bitch laughed as she did it. Bob, I just don't know what to do. No, get away! Henry! No! Henry, get back! <laughs> And there we have the end of uh, Taggart. So Taggart kind of died. Just gonna grab the last arm over here again, but this time I placed the car at the right position. So jumping, 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 jumping. Just gonna leave a grenade here. And then grab the arm. I'm gonna be too late. I'm gonna be too late again. Don't do this to me. Where is this P.O. box? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? The P.O. box is at the other side of town. Yep. Crap. For fuck's sake. Now. But I can apparently pull it, put in a quest over here. This is uh, Taggart's mailbox. So there we go. We collected all of all his autobiography chapters. And we get some crap. Suppose there's a lesson to be learned in all of this. He who attempts to fight nature will get... Goodbye, Hammerlock. For We're the glad to help. But we need to do this again. God damn it. But by now, the there's enough shields in the med station to just throw all in here. Ah, oh, there we go. I needed to put the quest as my active quest. Obviously. There we go. 
Pick those up and the last shield actually went over it. So I'm just going to have to drop that uh, again. There we go. That's going in. There we go. That's going in. There we go. Let's give that to Karima. So she can finish up that quest. Here we go. Deliver the shields. Y'all just gonna blow yourselves up. Better quit now. Dave. Thank you for your input, Dave. Goodbye, Dave. So uh, let's turn this in. So the shield deck is assembled. Now to test it. Here we go. Caustic Trance is a corrosive SMG, which is actually not bad. Or a new shield. I'm gonna go for the corrosive SMG. And then Overlook is nearly safe. This is only a test. Overlook's shield is finished, and I would very much like your help testing it. Head to the Hyperion outpost near by and get to the mortar cannon on the launch pad. We will. Hey, Karima. Know what's even better than having a working shield? Not being a woman. <laughs> oh my god, shut up, Dave. There we go. Dave is gonna get it, I think. So, got a minute left on my third attempt. Seems like I'm gonna make it this time. This... These, these types of quests are really, really annoying. They're uh, way too tightly timed. Look at that, I just stumbled out of the car there. And now we need to run a bit, so I think we're gonna have about 30 seconds left on this thing. There we go, there we go. But I did it the other way around now. Oh, there's a the PO box, there we go. Oh, that is gross. I feel like they're gonna go bad now as well. You dick, Dr. Zed, god damn it. Since arriving on Pandora, you've been mauled, shot, stabbed and frozen, and yet, that pun hurt worst of all. The arms dealer pun, that is. Because, of course, he's not a weapons dealer, he's, uh, well, a dealer in physical, fleshy arms. Well, there's a joke somewhere about how those cost me an arm and a leg. I can't think of one right now, of course, but uh, I could sell those for a fortune. There we go, the Vitality Relic, which ups our maximum health by 37.2%, which is really, really nice. I'm just going to equip that. Because uh, it's better than the 5% increase in rare loot, I think. Um, so there we go, max health no increased. But that's not all in the Highlands. We're not just done side questing just yet. We need to find four recordings of Patricia Tannis, which is what we're going to do next. Alongside just finding the mortar uh, launch platform to test Overlook's shields. So uh, we'll be doing that right now. So one of her audio diaries is right underneath the bridge here, but I feel like I'm not going to be able to easily cheat in this. Right, no, 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 okay, no. <clears throat> Definitely not, so I'm going to have to go up the normal way, so give me a second. So the first one is underneath the bridge in this little shack. How the hell do I get in there? Do we need to jump that? Oh, that's great. This is not a platformer. There we go. Go in there. Wherein Tannis recounts her first few weeks in Sanctuary. I'm going to die. Roland forcibly relocated me to Sanctuary for what he claimed was my safety. But the slack jaws who populate this city make my flesh scream. A young woman said hello to me today. I stared back at her, my mind screeching as I looked for a way to escape this unwanted interaction. As my face grew red with nauseous stress, a blood vessel popped in my nose and a jet of crimson shot out of my nostrils, splattering us both with blood. She screamed and ran away. Pleased as I was at the time, I fear causing fountains of blood to shoot from my face would not be a viable long-term strategy for avoiding conversation. There we go, so that's her first echo recording. Not really uh, a woman for conversation, that is. But there's uh, a lot of treasures in this place where I just accidentally fell down because I couldn't make that stupid jump back. But there we go, at least we got a level up from that, so let's just check out our skill points while we're at it. That means we can get our first point into the Resurgence skill. So killing an enemy with a melee attack restores health. The lower your health, the more health you will receive. It's not the best uh, skill in the tree, but at least I can get one point in there if I get a, a cool class mod that actually emphasizes that. Uh, the problem is I can't really get out of this pit, so I need to do that on foot. But it does make me remember that there's actually a cave underneath here that you can access. And I think there's something over here, unless that's the end of the second tagger quest, which it probably is. And I'm just here too soon. So I'm just going to get on the, the bridge again. So the next one of Patricia's 
audio logs is supposed to be in this area, which is inaccessible for vehicles. But uh, at least we can kill some stalkers here. There we go. And you know what? If you don't want to come to me... Ooh. Ooh. Quest? Daggard's gift for mom. There we go. A gift box seemingly assembled by someone whose fingers were more used to popping eyeballs than wrapping presents. There we go. And that is the quest that I really want. Best Mother's Day ever. What's in the box? Happy Mother's Day to the greatest mom a master husband could ask for. Now don't get excited. I locked the present with my fist print so you can't open it till I get home. Anyway, I'm off to go disembowel Henry the Stalker with my teeth. See you soon. So there we go. We know by now because of his audio logs that his arm was eaten by Henry the Stalker. And we need his fist to open up that chest, which just means we need to find that arm. It's just another another quest. Another Borderlands quest, isn't it? Oh, wow. That loader just got eviscerated. So, all the way back up in that area, we're gonna find another... Okay, that... Thanks for that! Badass fire treasure. That's annoying. I'm gonna throw a few of these in his face. I think he can't really reach me here. Stealth. Just gonna see. There's two of his tentacles over there, but... Can I actually defeat those separately? I can, but they're not worth much. I can kill him, though. That's a, a big treasure. And that's the last of my grenades. There we go. Badass down. Didn't really drop anything, did it? It's too bad, because I like badasses, because they usually have lots of loot, but... Not this time, apparently, but the audio log... Is in that little boat over there. Oh God! The same questions occurred to me today as I was pinning a disemboweled skag to my front door to dissuade others from approaching it. What does Jack want with the vault key? Was the key simply charging the entire time I possessed it before Jack crowbarred it from my bloody hands? Was it waiting to unleash its alien powers on Pandora to make Iridium appear from the very ground? Was it preparing itself to unlock even more alien ruins? I will delve deeper into this question after I soundproof the walls of my home, that I may be spared the incessant laughter and joviality of sanctuary citizens. Yeah, I mean, talking to people is so bad, Patricia. But there we have it, her second audio log. Uh, now we need to just move to the other side again of the the Highlands. Just gonna kill this requisition bodyguard which has respawned for some reason. That's weird. I mean the requisitions officer shouldn't be reappearing after I've cured the people at Overlook. But uh, there we go, moving back to the other side. So taking a little shortcut across the mountains here. I'm gonna just drop down. There we go. And one of her audio logs is inside of this tractor. And this is also, I think, the location, I'm just gonna shoot that loose, of uh, Taggart's fist, if I recall this correctly. But let's listen to this first. I have uncovered legends of an ancient alien warrior. The legends tell of a magical key that can bring it back to life. If my hypotheses are correct, which they always are, the legends may be speaking Throw of the vault key. Also, a young man told me I was pretty on my way back from the grocers. The reaction was surprisingly tame. I only spent the next three hours dry heaving into a bucket. The true world okay. Weakness she spent the last three hours dry heaving into a bucket because somebody told her she was pretty. There we go. I'm just gonna... Try and take care of these uh, stalkers. There we go. As long as I can focus on one of them, I'm fine. And by the way, stalkers may be invisible, but if I'm uh, in Zero's deception mode, I can actually see them whether they're invisible or not. Now it's another one, and then the final one. There we go. Because remember, every time we shoot some something, we get a boost to our next melee attack, and vice versa. So if we just swap 
that around. That should be fine. Is there really no... Is this really not the location of Henry? I thought it was. Just check the map and it's actually the place that we uh, were at before. The little uh, cave where we uh, just went in and out because we uh, kind of realized that it was going to be tied to another side quest. So uh, never mind. So we're back in the Hyperion base in the middle of the Highlands, which is both where Thanos' last audio diary is and where we need to uh, set the moonshot ready, because I think it's one of those things. Uh oh, that's going to be a problem. Just going to do this, because the burn damage is really annoying, because it keeps stacking. There we go. Just gonna check if this is actually also the place we need to do the moonshot thingy. It actually is! It actually is just right here, so I'm just gonna do that Last first. Deck, sucking moron up by the cannon. Please ignore Dave and aim the cannon 55 degrees port bound, 86 degrees skyloft. We'll need overlook to sustain a direct hit from the mortar to test the shield. But uh, as you can see, so that's overlook. And that over there, where I'm pointing at, that is Dave's house. Which is suspiciously at the edge of the town, since he doesn't like anybody in the town. Just gonna do this. Rotate it. I can't touch the other button because there's a bubble shield around it for some reason. Aiming the mortar. And. One blast should be enough, right? Activate. There we go. Aim mortar. There we go. Let's calibrate that a bit. Aim a bit up so we have a nice arc. And there we go. And then this button unlocks. There we go. Let's fire that off. Don't feel bad, Jack. Husband of the grinder. Well, I'll bet you if you asked nicely. <laughs> Goodbye, Dave. Now, let's try that with the shield on. <laughs> I love this quest. I love this quest. Bye, Dave. Bye, Dave. You're an asshole. There we go. Let's aim to the center of town now with the shield activated. And push the button. There we go. Blammo. That doesn't have a lot of speed when it's fired, is it? Has it? Uh, poof. Most efficient. The shield works. Overlook is safe and no Dave. This is truly a happy day. Return to me at your earliest convenience. We will Kareem up, but first we need to find another audio diary here, so give me a second. So after depleting uh, half the uh, personnel of Hyperion again, we're back on the bridge with that uh, constructor. Is this thing slagged or not? I don't know if it's slagged right now. Oh my god, that's a lot of rockets. That's just slag the hell out of it. That iron constructor uh, loader isn't gonna do anything just yet because this thing is just gonna die. There we go. Oh, there's more engineers where that came from apparently. Forgot about those things actually exploding at the end. And remember, we get help when we kill people with melee attacks. Ow. Ah, god damn it, he hit me. There we go, we're doing fine. There's one over there. And then that bull loader. There we go. Hit that off. And there we go. Then we get our health back. A bit. And uh, we're also right next to Patricia Tannis' last audio log. And I know there's also a chest. Because we just unlocked this. Because it was an electric barrier over here, and it's probably right in here. Yeah, there it is. Yesterday, I had a conversation with another human being. Granted, it was only a conversation in as much as my grunts of social terror could be taken as human speech, but Roland did not seem to mind. He asked me why Jack hasn't revived the warrior yet, if he has the key. <gasps> I conveyed that the key needed to be charged by Iridium, hence Jack's mining operations. <gasps> He nodded and silently wiped the streams of my saliva from his face. I returned home, 
confused not only at his lack of disgust, but at my behavior, but how I cared and disgust for him. For the first time, I felt as if I could actually live in the sanctuary. For the first time, I feel as if oh, I might be okay. Ah, uh, that's annoying. And it's going faster as well, because it knows I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna have to give that up. Okay, I died. I died just as the first badass loader was destroyed, so... Kinda got me there, but let's get back up there. I don't know where it's gonna spawn me now. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look... That doesn't look good at all. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through that entire thing again. Give me a second. So I know I technically don't even need to check this thing anymore, but uh, I want my weapons chest, damn it. That thing does a lot of damage. There we go. Holy shit. Ah, but there's a few weapons chests over there, and I really wanted to have those before we left. And we get, hmm, a slag SMG. 70% chance to slag. Hmm. Swap that out for the sniper. Although the sniper rifle has a 50% chance to do that, so I'm not going to do that. The only thing we need to do now is get boss, well, you know, the rainbow bit. There we go, the rainbow bit. Let's do that again. And back to uh, Overlook. There it is. Now there's actually a rainbow. There we go. And now we need to kill Henry's minions in here, because uh, this is the last side quest in... Oh, there we go. Okay, Jesus Christ, that was aggressive. The last side quest we need to do in the Highlands for now. So we'll do that just now. There we go. Let's have that thing do that. And I feel like the stalkers actually knew where I really was. That guy was still going for me, so one more minion. He's right over there. They kind of look spidery as well, if you don't see the lizard part of it. Henry! Henry! Where? Oh, there he is. There he is. Hello, Henry. Should have gotten a shock weapon there. And I disappear. And he got a shield back again. Preparing to strike. Come on, Henry, don't leave now. We still have fun things to do. Yeah, he's getting his shield back because of the uh, the thing he's wearing. Just gonna focus on Henry first. Where the hell did he go? There he is. There we go. Ah, uh, kill him off. There we go. Now we need to just need to take care of the other stalkers who now lack a leader. Go cry to mommy, because daddy's dead. There we go, there's the fist. With the words mama engraved on it. And we get, ooh, the barbed long rider. Just gonna kill those guys first. There's a hefty shotgun. There we go. And then the last one over here. There we go. There we go, all three quests ready to turn in. And one of those is actually really, really, what is this? Ah, the chest. <laughs> I needed to do that here. So, uh, fist imprint complete. Oedipus complex. Schmoedipus schmomp schmompleps. Yeah, I'm not gonna even try that. But we get the love tumper. And this thing is awesome. So, if thumping you is wrong, I don't want to be right. When depleted, melee attacks deal bonus roid damage. As you can see, this shield does not come back. It has a recharge rate of 55, which is ridiculously bad. The recharge delay of 216.5 seconds and a capacity of 1097. But that's not gonna matter because the roid damage on this thing is immense. So the melee damage you're doing with this thing is incredible. I'm gonna show you that in a second. First, of course, I need to equip it. So, love temper. It's, look, look at how it's coming back. It's not coming back at all, is it? That's really, really slow to do in combat. 
<laughs> but the roid damage is where it's at. But uh, we're going to have to wait until we find more enemies before we can check that out. Because now we're going to go to Overlook again. Because we have two quests to actually turn in. Although, you know what? There's a few stalkers over here. And if we get close to one of them... And let them actually deplete our shields. Because right now, of course, they need to start depleting our shields. There we go. But of course, now we're getting... I got my shield back again. Probably one of my skills that did that. But come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. So now, if I actually hit one of those... Uh, so full shields, full health. God damn it. And he's down in one go. We do get our shield back that way, because of course, that's the way our setup is now. But it does give us a nice way out if we're gonna pinch. There we go, so now we're down again. And again, full shields, and down in one go. We do get a little explosion when that happens, because the roid damage is actually an AoE as well. A little AoE, but it's something. And we get that explosion if we kill something with a melee attack like that. And I do love the name, the Love Thumper, but now without health regeneration and shield regeneration, we're of course very, very vulnerable. So the Love Thumper is something I'm going to equip later on, because right now we're not set up for it. But once we get to the last skill of our current skill tree, that's going to come in really, really handy, because the, the melee damage is going to just allow us to stay in deception almost indefinitely, as long as there are enemies. But uh, enough about me. Let's... Uh, Turn in the Overlook quests, like this, there we go, collect reward. You know my favorite thing about Dave? He's dead. There we go, and we get the Deadly Bloom. What do you mean, theoretically? Release an explosive Nova Blast when shields or health are depleted. So this does it at health as well, and it's probably the best shield that we have right now, uh, since we're not going to use the Love Thumper for now. So let's just equip that. Deadly Bloom. So an explosive Nova Shield, which is really, 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 really powerful. Next time in Borderlands 2, we fight Old Slappy. That's right, Slappy. You smell it, don't you? That's the scent of a gentleman.